Hey everybody, how's it going? BCM here. Let's look at some pictures of 19 hapless people who know everything about despair. Life finds a way. Now what, <laughs> what happened? I mean, the car, how did it get up there? Poor guy, and he tore the money. This is the only way to get to the lunchroom without going fully outside, and there are holes in the roof. I go through all that just to get to lunch. My cat just bit the corner of my MacBook. Bad key, bad key. It tasted good, at least. Damn, what happened to your pizza? <laughs> when you realize that those five TVs are too expensive. <laughs> yep, I cut a hole in my wall and shoved my big-ass TV in there. And this morning's challenge, find my car. Could you use a metal detector to find your car? Does it, would the tracking device work? I don't know. Miserable husbands are chopped while their wives shop. <laughs> oh, man. That's boredom at its best. This guy trying to be home a Christmas tree is quite optimistic. Damn, was the guy you got the smallest car you could ever purchase? That one in smart cars? When you want a stable relationship, a year is a year, decades, 10 years, centuries, 100 years, forever together, two months and three days. <laughs> when you are too mature to just smile for the camera. Get it back now. Oh man, what? <laughs> of all places to trap your cell phone, man. Right in the crocodiles? Yeah, um, yeah, go down there, reach down and grab it. It's not just socks that go unpaired. I think the, the Tupperware and the socks are are both teaming up to make lives miserable. Just installed this new TV for a client. Great picture quality, they're gonna be so impressed. When you open your package and the one thing you ordered still has a security tag on it. Damn it, they've got to take it off. Oops, wrong soap. What to do, put laundry detergent in the dishwasher? Maybe the dishes will turn out smelling better at least. To complete disappointment in three, two, one, Putting it in a box and a, what, a cake? It was, I've never seen anything like that. Now this is why you should hide a spare key. Now is there is there key attached to the other end of this? And they closed it in the door and the door's locked. Oh damn, that sucks. Oh boy, someone's having a bad day. Oh, he lost an ear, but oh my goodness, call 911. Well, lucky we get a bonus one. Come on, man, just open the window. Nothing's going to happen if you let all these pigeons in. Now let's take a look at 26 fashion decisions designers should be ashamed of. Why put on pants at all? <laughs> oh man, look at her. Oh my god. What's the point? <laughs> One of the stupidest shoe designs ever. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, that's real fashionable. Ventilation in case it gets hot. Damn, could you have any more holes in your shirt? Well, at least they're all in some kind of pattern. When you got attacked by a bear, but you still have to go to work. Well, you see what happened was even more jeans. Looks like she took car mats and made a skirt. Yeah, that's exactly what she did. <laughs> As it turns out, it's really easy to be trendy. Oh look, I buy one of those Ikea bags too. Hot damn. Very original picture on the sweater. The hell, they take some socks and... How do you even put that on? That is... I mean, I'm up to this. The best thing for the beach season. Your toes can get a suntan too and do it in uh, fashion. A great way to study anatomy. When you want it to be a mermaid, but something went wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that is... That is the worst. Now, oh, at least there are no socks. Damn, look at those toes, too. Oh, my goodness. A really warm and trendy ninja. Ah, uh, poison ivy shoes. I'm gonna get a pair of those. Rather than you go and look for poison ivy, it'll come right to you. When you want to be quadruple sure your pants don't fall. One, two, three, four belts. Wow. <laughs> Just when I thought I'd seen everything. These cats are amazing. Damn, that looks like something out of the 1970s, but I don't even think they would allow that back in the 1970s. That's how bad they look. They're made to take out the trash or go bowling. I don't know. Take your pick. When you decided to hide nothing. Damn, that's actually a shirt that has chest hair and back hair on. <laughs> Again, who's going to wear that? Why would you design it? And what the hell are you thinking? Well, at least this looks original. Is that what are those? Those be like cow udders or like bowling pins for the handles? I have no idea. And where would you even buy that at? When a movie character decides to buy shoes. What the hell is that? Um oh no, it's Barney. Is there a better way to express your love for an actor than having their face all over your pants? <laughs> Really delicious hoodie that made a steak. 
inspired by the rhinoceros beetle. What the, what the hell, man? It's, when you fold up your jeans too much. The, okay, whose idea? This is really creepy. A uh, leg for the heel of that shoe. That is freaking weird, man. What amazing similarity. Kim Kardashian's outfit and a bag of oranges. The bonus picture of this is not what I wanted to look like. Urban Renewal Vintage Surplus Puffer Jacket. Yeah. <laughs> she looks nothing like the picture on the left. And my last one, 30 photos where no one knows what's going on. When you suddenly want to read outdoors. Oh look, you, your neighbor's around the corner. Hey, how you doing, Al? Oh, I'm good. Uh, just reading. Yeah, me too. Um, yeah, nice day today. A dog walking a dog. Oh, wait. <laughs> a backpack of modern design. There you go. I'm gonna get this package home. I'll just shrink wrap it to my body and take it home on the motorcycle. I have only one question. How? Those her feet? I'm guessing, but how did she put them like that? This person is prepared for any situation. Yep, I ran my motorcycle with rollerblades in case I have to get off and bail it. On a shoestring, is that a bungee cord hang close and old in the tailgate of that thing? Oh man, I wouldn't be driving so close behind that. Your package has been delivered. We didn't, we couldn't find the house number, so we just put it right here by this truck, you know. <laughs> How classy, yeah. Take your shoes off and put your leg up on the bat. <laughs> oh, they had a ballet or an orchestra. Oh my goodness, how embarrassing. Sure, why not? Just keep piling chairs and whatever else in the back of your truck. Are the customers supposed to pick the lower bags? Damn, like Jenga, if you pull one out, is <laughs> Oh boy. Just look at those mushrooms. Damn. If you have no curler, you know what to do. Yeah, get a piece of French bread and wrap your hair around that. Perfect. <laughs> Safety, what's that? Hey, you got to give him credit for at least trying, right? He's going to get that painting done no matter what. Hmm, I wonder what the point of this competition is. Is it like brides? Whoever wins the race gets to marry the, the, the bride. When you finally find a good place for a nap. Oh yes, the cargo hold of a bus. Perfect. Extreme panic concentration detected. Damn, what is this? Some kind of a panic convention? Thank you, Granny, for knitting this outfit together for me. It's, um, yeah, I'll cherish it. <laughs> it looks weird. Yeah, and your boxer's doing the news. Well, at least he's comfortable. How inventive. You used the crane to lift up the smaller one so the smaller one can do the work. That's, uh, yeah. A long vehicle with high stacks trying to go under a low bridge. Look what happens. Which floor do you live on? Well, I live perpendicular to the tenth window that's um, on the left, up two rows to the right. A DIY double decker. Oh, you take your old Volkswagen bugs that nobody wants and put them on top, and then you can go sit up there. A good winning photographer will go the extra mile for a good shot. Damn, hanging upside down in the tree. Yeah. Oh, okay. Be sure and tip him well. A moment before. Ooh, is he carrying a boat? Oh boy, that boat is going to be, um, it's going to sink on the land. This is how a time machine could look. Damn, move over back to the future. We got a new DeLorean here. The escape of the toys. Oh yeah, they all banded together so they could climb down. For those who can't decide between a car and a boat, there you go. The hover car boat craft. Oh, those poor crushed watermelons. What are they doing? Dragging somebody behind a car or a horse or something? My and they say cats are liquid. You know, that dog, wow. That's um, pretty flexible there. And the last one, an amphibia car for a rainy day. You know that sign that says, turn around, don't drown, when there's flash flooding? And eh, don't worry about it, you can go right through it and you know, he'll just float on down the river. Well, my good fellows, that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure and like and subscribe and have a marvelous rest of your day. And I will see you later.